up you guys welcome back to your girl channel my name is mo if you didn't already know today's video is going to be another either day in the life with mo or two days not sure yet but right now i'm currently getting ready for an interview um i'm gonna explain that in a minute but i kind of wanted to give you guys an update from the last vlog so my car is doing a lot better super excited um hopefully nothing else goes wrong with it within the next few months because i can't do it um but i actually talked to i think it was a realtor um i'm not sure i called somebody about a house just so that i can look at it because i really liked it it may not be there when i'm ready but i just wanted to go look and she was just kind of giving me some pointy pointers on what i needed to do what i needed to focus on and maybe in january we can start looking so i know what i need to do know what i need to get done um I'm kind of getting discouraged about the house thing, but I'm gonna keep pushing. So, <clears throat> sorry y'all, I keep hitting this thing right here, but I actually have an interview, you guys, and this is kind of out of my comfort zone. I don't know how this gonna work out, but I'm gonna try it. If I do get hired, I don't know why I wouldn't, but I had a, have, I have an interview at Five Star Pizza, you guys. So I'm gonna try delivering just because they're probably the easiest to get in and my main job I work during the day so I need something at night and they're the easiest because they close at 3 a.m. so I can still come home still have some time to sleep still have some time to record when I you know have some downtime and stuff like that so this one was probably the most reasonable to get hired at so that's what I'm getting ready for um and y'all I really don't even have any interview clothes I haven't had an interview in like three years so whatever I'm wearing today is what he gonna get from me if he don't hire me because of my clothes then I don't know what to tell him so I'm gonna try that I'm not gonna be driving my car I'm actually gonna be if I do get hired getting like a hoopty if you guys don't know what that is it's like a just an older model car you know that still runs good you know just it ain't the cutest but it works so I'm gonna probably get one of those for the time being and just ride around in that. So that's what I'm getting ready for this morning. And y'all, I actually have in my half wig from Beauty Forever Hair and all I did was take a shower. Like I'm telling you guys, this is probably the most easiest and so I've ever done, like for real. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll make sure I link it down below. But all I did was get in the shower, left out my leave out, blow dried it, braided my two little braids and then clip this thing on that's it so it's super super easy and I needed something done to my hair because after this your girl is gonna get back or get into because I've never actually been into it um going into like the more natural hair because my curls because I do little things like this they kind of stretch out and I know they can get tired, so I'm gonna try that. But I'm gonna miss this half wig, to be honest, y'all. Cause it's so, so freaking cute and just soft and easy to just, you know, put on and be like, okay, my hair is done. So what I'm gonna do is add just some curls in it. I know it's already some in there, but that was from last time. Yeah, I ain't gonna show y'all, so. But I have wig, you really don't have to do it because you just put it on and take off. So I'm gonna just put some light curls in there. I'm not trying to look like a movie star walking in no five star pizza because my outfit ain't even that cute either. So. so I'm gonna go ahead and curl this hair and then I'll get back with you guys before I do leave. Okay, y'all. So this is my interview outfit, not this hat. It's very humid outside, so I just wanted to make sure that my hair doesn't poof up before I get there, okay? But this is it. I gotta go. It's 9.40 and I was supposed to leave at 9.30, so running late as usual. So I'm gonna go ahead and go and then I'll see you guys when I leave. Okay, y'all. So that was a complete joke. Um, when I applied for the position online on Indeed, I literally just typed in night shift jobs in my area so that I can see if, you know, the pay is all right. So what they put on there is you get paid between nine and fifteen dollars <throat> what they need to put on there is you get paid eight dollars and 75 cent and the rest of it comes from tips is what they need to specifically say because that was a waste of time 
I'm not going and working for somebody, especially not a delivery driver for $8.75. So that was a joke. And then when I even pulled up, I just had a feeling that <clears throat> they weren't gonna know that I had an interview today or they forgot or something. When I walk in there, the dude that I actually speak to over the phone wasn't even there, like at all. He was at the bank or something. And then the lady that was also a manager, um, she didn't know what to say to me. It was just like, she's never done an interview before or I understand you don't expect it, but if you're a manager, you kind of know what things you're looking for in somebody. So she really didn't even ask me nothing. I just kind of sat there and was just like, okay, this is my availability. She told me how much you guys paid and my eyes were just like, ugh. Well, um, okay. So yesterday, I mean, I've been applied for another position. I actually applied for like three different positions somewhere else. One was like cleaning overnight and then the other one was a call center job and I'm a little nervous to do a call center job if I were to get hired just because I'm gonna be at home and you know I don't know how I feel about just sitting at home working on the computer like I do you know YouTube and stuff and that's different you know I have time for that but when you're like a tight schedule and it's kind of like I'm sleepy I'm sitting here on the computer I'm just gonna go to bed okay so hopefully that won't be the case. But I have an interview. I did set it up for, what was it, 11.30. And it's a video interview. So I don't really know how this is going to work because they didn't send me any link for a video. I don't know if they're going to send it soon or what. But it's basically a call center representative for Walmart. And I don't really know what to expect. So I'm just going to do the interview, see how it goes. Um, but I'm definitely not doing the delivery. It's not happening. Like, it's... Is not happening, okay? So, that was a waste of time of getting up this morning. Um, I was really disappointed, though. I'm like, y'all really paying somebody $8.75 to drive? And for one, you're not even reimbursing anybody for gas. That's one. Two, Ain't nobody guaranteed to get tips. So where are you getting between $9 and $15 an hour? Like, especially during this time, ain't nobody really tipping, I'm sure. Like, so I'm going to sit here and try to set up this video call. They haven't sent me anything to do anything, but I'm going to try to see if there's something that I just misread. Um, but I'm real disappointed, y'all, because I thought I was going to have me another job today. But it's not happening. And I might actually like the call center. If it does come down to it, though, um, I might end up doing, like, I guess, a DoorDash and what's the other one? Uber Eats or something like that. I'll probably try those out if none of these options that I applied for work. Because I definitely want to have a job by the 21st. I go on, like, my little vacation from my, you know, main job. And I kind of want to use that time to prep videos just to be a little bit you know organized for when I do get a job that way you know things are kind of flowing a little bit better so I still got about two weeks so I don't need to stress it but I'm stressing it because that was freaking pointless I hate when people aren't together it's it's so annoying like how did you even become a manager y'all I'm really random but that kind of irritated me really y'all i really actually like you know vlogging at first i used to i don't want to say i was nervous but i just felt like i don't know what to say i don't know what to talk to y'all about but i actually realized like i do have a lot of stuff to talk about i do have a lot of stuff to tell y'all like in the comments you guys i love y'all so much like for real, real. y'all my best friends okay my best friends so when I actually get on here and I have stuff to talk about and then y'all be commenting back to things that I'll be saying, y'all like, really like me. Y'all actually y'all love me because who does that? You know what I'm saying? Like I know I watch a lot of vlogs and I don't, I can't lie, I don't comment back or I don't comment on most of the vlogs. But I will watch a vlog from start to finish, okay? 
just because I like seeing daily life things. So when y'all actually comment back to me, y'all be talking to me, girl, I'd be real happy though. So. I'm excited though. I'm gonna try to keep, um, I'm gonna try, I don't know if that was English. I'm gonna try to keep, try, whatever. I'm gonna try to keep um, doing vlogs every week. I know, you know, sometimes I'll be missing a day or two but your girl does have a full-time job like outside of youtube so it is a struggle you know most of the time you see people very very consistent on youtube and that's most of the time when they're bigger um or even if they're not like this is their only job and it, that's not the case for me okay i like money so if i have extra time on the outside i'm gonna go make my money come you know and chill with y'all so um i am trying to get to at least where I'm posting at least twice a week. I know I do normally do three times a week, but because I'm gonna be looking for another job, actually I'm gonna be getting hired somewhere else. I'm going to do, try to do two times a week. We're gonna try, if I can do three, hey, not complaining, but two times a week is definitely what I'm shooting for. Um, so yeah, I'm trying, your girl trying, be getting better, but I do like doing these vlogs. They're very, very, like, opening. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you guys can get to know me a lot more than me just trying on some clothes and shoes and hair. You know what I'm saying? You guys actually get to know you, girl. You get to see what's going on in my life. What is that? Oh. I'm like, what is that? But that's my charger for my camera. But one thing I actually do want to get... And I'm probably going to wait till um, the week that I go on vacation because I do want to go in the Best Buy. I don't know if they're letting people in or whatever it is, but I want to go in the Best Buy and get a different camera lens. So I know my camera quality isn't the best. Like I don't have the best um, videos like on YouTube. Like you guys still like my videos, but I would like the quality to be a lot better. Like now that I'm getting a little bit bigger, it's like, okay, girl. You need to step it up a notch. Like even my um workout, boo-boo workout clothing haul, like the video, the video was okay, but the quality of it wasn't the best. And sometimes that is kind of discouraging because it's like, okay, this video probably could have did a little bit better or more people, yeah, more people would have watched it if the quality was a little bit better. And I know not even just more people watching, but the ones that do come back, like you guys, you want to see better quality you know what i'm saying so it's kind of that time and i i'm not the best when it comes to like electronics and all that stuff like that like i know the basics i don't know camera stuff so um i've been trying to watch like different videos and see how to get a little bit more you know better quality on things and i found a camera lens that i want to get it's actually only like i think 150 dollars which isn't bad so I think I'm gonna wait till that week to get the lens and we'll kind of see and play with it because I don't know anything about cameras whatsoever so I've been trying to get some better quality I do have a ring light I have like little stage lights that I can use too I just don't know how to get it to look like real movie light like if y'all know what I'm saying like um I don't know if you guys watch a girl named Kayla Cake here on YouTube. I love her videos. She kind of reminds me of myself a little bit. So I like watching people that I can relate to. And she's not a super huge YouTuber. She has like, you know, 70K, 60K, wherever it is. But her quality of her videos are amazing. Even when it comes down to, you know, like her sit down videos, her clothing haul videos, like the quality of them look amazing and it just makes you want to watch them even more because it's like okay you have a nice setup in the back and then i'm watching you you know do what you do so you know i don't like sometimes asking people just because of, some people are rude and i'm not saying she would be rude but i know some people aren't like me like if you ask me what camera do you use or what do you use to edit i'm gonna tell you some people are just they don't want to tell the tea i guess you know and I don't, you know, that's me. Like, sometimes I don't feel comfortable asking anybody. But I love the quality of her videos. And she isn't, like, a huge YouTuber. So, you know, I kind of want to learn on my own. I'm going to watch some videos. Or I have been watching videos. So, we're going to, you know, work on that the week that I am off. And 
try to get a little bit better with the quality but i'm gonna go ahead and cut this off um and i'll let you guys know how the interview went and we'll kind of get the day started because i know this kind of pushed it back like everything that i had planned this kind of pushed it back a little bit even this interview wasn't expecting to do it i wasn't gonna do it because if i got hired at the other job i wouldn't have had to but i didn't well i did but i'm not taking it so i'm gonna cut the camera off and i'll get back on once we get everything started okay what's up you guys so it is later in the day um I kind of fell asleep. Sorry, it's dark. I kind of fell asleep after getting off the camera earlier because, and excuse me for this, y'all. Little pimple. Anyways, um, I fell asleep earlier because I sat there and waited and waited and waited on someone to call me to email me about the interview for the call center place thingy. And I got nothing. So I called them like a few hours later and I was like, listen, I had an interview that I scheduled for 1130 and nobody reached out to me. What's going on? And some lady transferred me somewhere and then the person rejected the call. They had an iPhone and it texted to me and I left a voicemail. Nobody called me back. So I got so irritated. I'm just like, OK, maybe I can try again another day you know with applying other places and doing different things but i'm over it today you know so i took a nap i had got up recorded and then i just laid back down just because my mood was kind of off i'm just like you know maybe this process isn't meant for me you know maybe i should wait another two years or something um so i kind of got a little aggravated with that but you know so all I've been doing for the last few hours is just sitting down watching some videos because remember I said I wanted to kind of get my quality better here on YouTube. So I've been watching some videos on my camera, how to use it, what I need to buy so I can get some better quality. And that's really all I've been doing. So I'm actually going to be carrying this vlog on till tomorrow because today really I didn't do anything and I look so sleepy. I'm not sleeping on just woke up well i feel like i just woke up i've just been sitting sitting down doing nothing but um i am gonna carry this vlog on until tomorrow so hopefully i have some more things planned and we're gonna do some things i don't know what i'm gonna do because i really don't have anything planned but i'm gonna take you guys with me tomorrow so i will see you guys tomorrow good morning you guys so it is the next day I actually forgot that I had a nail appointment today because your girl nails look crazy. It ain't gonna focus because it don't ever focus, but my nails look crazy and then I actually kind of wanted to get my toes done. Um, didn't feel like doing them this time, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then I do need to run to the post office after and when I come back, I'm working out, okay. I did take a month off just from moving and all the stuff like that and your girl need to get back in the gym like i'm just i'm over it i feel like that kind of gets my days started i feel a little bit more motivated even if i don't do anything you know what i'm saying working out kind of just makes me feel a lot better so that's what i'm gonna do um all i have on right now because when i do come back i am gonna be working out just have on this nike hat a little black tank top i think i got from ross a while ago and then I have on the leggings from Boo Boo, so you guys can actually see. And then I just have on some sandals because I am going to get my toes done. So it doesn't make sense to wear any tennis shoes. But this is what I got on and this is what we got going on today. So I don't know if I should bring y'all in the nail place because I did the last vlog just a little bit. But I don't know if that's fun looking at, you know what I'm saying? You know how it looks to get your nails done. So I don't know if you want to watch it, but we'll see we'll see left the nail salon and immediately went to target because this weekend i'm supposed to be going to see my boyfriend and i wanted to get a real cute pajama set so i know target normally has some real good pajama sets so i go to target and i get out and there is a couple they walk up to me hey i know you're in a rush but 
you know, me and my husband, we haven't been eating, we've been sleeping in our car. She's like, my back is hurting so bad, whatever, whatever. So I'm like, okay. I was like, I can get you some food. Like I'm going into the store and get you some food. So she was like, how long are you gonna be? I said, probably about 30 to 45 minutes, just because I wanted to look around, you know, not just go to Target and get you some food and leave. But I was like, 30 to 45 minutes. I was like, is that too long? She said, no, that's fine, I'll be out here. And I was like, well, what car are you in? So she had like a white truck with something red in the back. And I tried to remember just in case I kind of lost where they went. Okay, so I went inside and I got them like a case of water, um, some bread, ramen noodles, just stuff that they could heat up because they said that they were staying in a hotel here and there or whatever. So I got like peanut butter jelly and all that stuff like that. So I spent about 30 minutes because I was keeping track, make sure I wasn't going over the 30 minutes. I go back outside and they're nowhere to be found. Like, I literally drove around the entire Target parking lot. I even seen a police officer, and I was like, hey, did you see a white truck with something red in the back? And he was like, no. So, I got all this food, y'all, for no reason. I even got chips, applesauce, and I've been eating good, so I can't eat none of this stuff. And I don't want to go back in and return it, if that makes sense. I just don't feel like that's right. I don't know. Anyways, um... But I did get my nails and toes done. I did like an off-white this time. Um, I seen a picture on Google and it had like some really nice designs on it, but I just really liked the base color. So I ended up getting that. I hope it's not too loud, y'all, because it is kind of sprinkling outside, but I did end up getting that and then I just did white toes. And y'all, in my last video, I had did my toes by myself and that was probably the worst, the worst set or not set but polish i've ever done on my toes and even my nail lady was like monica i don't know what you did but girl these look bad so um i got her to do those because i really really needed them done like super bad but um i'm actually on my way home i did get a few things because i did stop into where'd i go i went to ross tj maxx and I did go on the Target. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of things that I did get. I didn't wanna bring you in because it was raining. Like, my toes got all wet. Like, it was it was horrible. Like, I cannot vlog in a store, especially when it's raining. So, I'll show you guys the things that I didn't get. Because they're just little cute things. It wasn't things that I needed at all, but I wanted them, so I got them. And I'll just show you guys that when I do get home excited like when i get stuff i have to call somebody and show them so y'all gonna be the first ones to see everything that i got and i'm gonna try on everything that i got too so y'all can see all right so i think this first bag i think i got from tj maxx so i found these really 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 cute um produce bags i hate the ones that come from the store whenever you you know buy them so i got what is it it's a three pack plastic free one medium, two large. They're 100% cotton, so if you do wash them, they'll shrink, which is kind of what I want to happen because the sizes are 10 inches by 12 and then 12 inches by 14. So I think they're kind of gonna be too big, but I wanna show y'all. Oh, well, let me get some scissors. scissors. One of them, oh my God, they're perfect. Okay, so they're not that big, but this is the medium size one. And obviously, you know, you can probably fit like some cucumbers in there and stuff like that. So I wanted these because I really freaking hate the bags from the grocery store. So they come in a three pack and these were only $6.99. So I wanted those. And then I found these really cute house shoes. So if you guys don't know me, I love me some house slippers, house shoes, whatever you want to call them. And I have a whole bunch of them. So... These I had to get because I don't have any nude brown ones. And these are more of like a fall type of feel. You know, very homey feel. Because mine are all like black and white. I think I have some pink ones, some leopard ones. So these I wanted because um, I just wanted them. But they're really cute. And these are actually only $8.99. So I can't wait to wear these. 
And then, okay, these are actually all mixed up. Okay. So I found some candles. I actually never have any luck with finding candles. So this one is called Cozy Flannel and Salted Caramel. And it's by Everyday Lux. And it was really cute. I only try to look for the white and the black ones. And it smells so good. I've actually never seen a candle that looked like that. So hopefully this one lasts a little bit longer. And hopefully the strong, I mean the strong, the smell sticks in the room. So I got that one. That one was $6.99. And yeah, I got a whole bunch of candles. So, you know. This one is called Fireside Coconut Blend Wax Candle. And I think it's by Sensational. This one was six ninety nine too. And this one I feel like was more of like the bathroom smell, if that makes sense. It's more, I don't want to say cotton. I don't know, it's hard to explain. But this was probably the best one that was black, that smelled good, that I would actually buy. Because if they don't smell good, I'm not buying it just because it's black and white. But that one just not good. So next one this one not the next one this is actually the last one it's called coconut milk scented candle hand poured wax by dw home and this one was real cute and it smelled good and i love coconut you guys so this one was perfect and this one was my favorite and it smells like it's going to you know stick in the home a little bit better. so those are the three candles that i got then i got some thongs i am a sucker for seamless underwear like if i see them anywhere if i'm going in ross if i go on marshall's tj maxx or wherever i'm gonna look in the thong section so if you guys don't know anything about seamless y'all need to go get a pair they're really really cheap i honestly don't care what brand it is as long as they're like super super soft but i love the way they feel like it just feels like you don't have anything on but you do if you get in sand and i love 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 these so and then they actually don't like show a print so if you have those thongs that do that normally mine don't anyways but these actually are really good so these are by vince camuto don't know who that is but how much did i pay i only paid 7.99 for these three and they are some good good quality like real good quality and then i found some really nice calvin klein ones now these i wouldn't say are seamless but they're really really soft they're not like the normal calvin klein ones that you see with the strip at the top it's not an average one so that's how those look and i did grab these in a size small and these were ten dollars which isn't bad for calvin klein so i had to get these they're cute i like cute underwear and then that's nope one more thing and then i got this really cute you know top i might go wear this to see my boo this weekend this is really really cute and it's really soft i actually have a shirt i think from the same company that gaze they sell them at tj maxx and marshall's so if you guys ever see them get them but this is the bodysuit and it's real cute and soft so that's that next we have I did go to the Dollar Tree and Five Below, so I'm gonna show y'all that stuff. So I found these really cute, really cute, really cool dressing, um, like travel things. So at work, I do pack up my lunch because I'm like eating out. You know, very often I actually have been trying to slow down on eating out, and I've been doing pretty good. So when I make like my salads and stuff, I need something to put the dressing in, and I normally need a lot of dressing, so I grabbed two of them, and they did come in some other colors, but obviously gray is the one that i picked up because it kind of goes with everything but they just look like that and then you know get the dressing out so i thought that these would be really cool to have when i am packing my lunch for work and then i got just two of these clear bowls um don't really know why i bought them but i just thought that they were really cool i do a lot of instagram photos and stuff on my story so I thought that this would be good for like my yogurt and stuff like that because my regular bowls just you know they don't really look that cute in it if that makes sense i don't know y'all but i like stuff like that so i did grab two of these 
just in case i probably should have grabbed four because they were only a freaking dollar so i may go back and get two more just so i can have like my full four sets like i do everything else but i grabbed these because they're really cool and yeah. let me know what y'all think am i being extra or you know is it really a steal just let me know okay so then I went to a lot of places today y'all and I it was not expecting it. I was supposed to come back and work out you see I still even got on my workout stuff and never even came back to work out but it's okay because I'm getting up in the morning and it ain't no excuse okay so I did go to Ross and I have these really cute mom jeans now these didn't even have a tag on it girl okay they had no tag on them and I was like um I tried to find another pair like them but they didn't have a tag, so I don't know. She was like, $11? I was like, let's do it, girl. Ring them up, because they're so cute. And hopefully I can fit them. I did grab them in a size three, but I know how sometimes my body be able to, like, girl, you a size one, but no, you really a size three. So hopefully they fit. Their mom jeans are supposed to be a little baggy, so we can see. And then I got these really cute biker shorts. Hopefully these aren't too big either, but I'm definitely gonna use these to work out in. I need to get me a nice little white sports bra. That's Adidas. For now, we'll just use a regular one. But these were actually only $12.99. And they're super cute. They're definitely gonna be see-through, but that ain't nobody business, okay? That's why we got the seamless underwear, you know? But if they looking that hard, then hey, that ain't none of my business. Or that ain't none of their business, actually, should I say. And then I did grab some more seamless underwear. So these were only $6.99. Y'all probably gonna be like, girl, you really do too much. But that's these. I like them a lot. I really like to work out on them. So don't judge me, okay? And then, and Ross, this is the last thing that I got, are these workout leggings. And these were only $8.99. Sometimes, like, I like a pop of color just randomly. Like, I don't always have to wear black and white or nude and stuff like that. And this blue, I really like on my skin. So, I just had to get these two. And they were $6.99. And I don't need to buy no more workout stuff. My drawers are so full. Like, I don't even need to buy no more clothes, girl. But, again, that's nobody's business. And then, in five below... Well, and five below i grabbed these y'all so y'all know i'm addicted to leopard if you've been subscribed you know okay anything that i see leopard i just really 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 have to get it like there is no questions like i really have to have it so i got these from five below and these were only i think five dollars i don't know they could have been four dollars but i think they were five and they're just gonna be so freaking comfy. Like I could put them on with this and be chilling right now. It's like I'm bringing these to go see my boo too. Okay, and I'm saying my boo like whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Um. Okay. Then I also went into J.C. because my mom actually works there and does hair. So I grabbed some t-shirts. I normally like on a day how I just ran out today. I normally like to throw on t-shirts like when I'm not doing anything. Like, there's no point in dressing up. I'm more of like a t-shirt, sweatpants, leggings type of person. So I grabbed these little t-shirts in a size small. It just has a little palm tree on there. And then it is like baggy. So I can actually wear this to work out in if I wanted because it is their active wear section, whatever. But I was like, I gotta get these. They were only $10 each, which was a steal. And then I found this one that said good vibes only and it's so cute it's like that i don't know a green color you call that it's probably picking up gray but it's green there it is yeah so this was gonna be really cute too just to throw on with some leggings like this like this would have been cute but i don't have many t-shirts like that so yeah so the last thing the last place that i went to was tj maxx this was when you know those people asked me to help them out and then left me with all of the food um yeah anyways so 
I ended up grabbing this clutch. I actually have my Louis Vuitton lookalike, which I'm gonna actually show y'all. This that was actually in my Amazon favorites video, and y'all, I wear this thing so freaking much, especially because it came with the wallet. The wallet's in my pocket, I think. Hold on. Yeah, the wallet thing this is literally all that I carry around, and then it has this little change thing, so I carry this thing around all the time like it's just sitting in my bag when i need my wallet i just take that out but i've seen this and i really like the way it looks because it has like that chanel type of print on it which is really cute so i grabbed this it did not have a wallet to go with it but i really don't care because i have a black wallet that i can just throw in here and it does have an extra pocket i don't know if y'all can see that but there is a little pocket in there so i like carrying these around just because a bag sometimes it's just a much so i'm just carrying this around you know it look really cute and this one is black and gold which i really like i don't like silver detailing at all you know could be doing too much but who cares y'all i'm out of breath i feel like i'm doing a clothing haul i really got a lot of stuff today but i found this really cute sports bra i have like a lot of them not this one but i have a lot that have this like rib material on it but this was only seven dollars and i grabbed it in a size small because the extra small was like only going to cover my nipples y'all so i grabbed this one you know you can wear it i can actually wear this with my pajamas look period and then i'm so out of breath y'all okay and then I grabbed these really cute earrings. I was actually gonna order these on Shein, but I wanted some like now. So I got these, these were $8, which was a little bit too much for me. Cause I know Shein you can get, I think it was a pack of three for maybe $5 or something like that. But whatever, I wanted them now. So I have, you know, a little look that I'm trying to do soon, you know, so y'all can see that. And then I got this really cute headband. This headband was not worth $10, but I really wanted it just because I wanted it. I don't know, but it was $10. And it's like this really cute knit looking material and it is cream color. So that's going to be cute. And then I did, a, I wouldn't say a poll, but I asked you guys on Instagram, which bag you like better. And I'm going to insert a little picture somewhere here on the screen so y'all can see the three different ones i was really talking about the blue in this one but i could not decide which bag i wanted to do they were so cute i just wanted to get both of them but i sat there and thought about it and i was like look if i get the blue one i'm probably only going to wear it maybe once or twice just because it's blue it doesn't go with everything so i was like i'm gonna get the cream color one because i can wear these I mean, I can wear this like in different seasons and it'll go with everything. So it's this really cute. I want to say clutch bag, but I don't know. I could be wrong. And then it comes with this little handle. I wish the handle was like a gold gold, but it's like this rustic, I don't know, rustic bronze-ish color. And then and the inside, it does have a zipper. And then it has like a little pocket on that side. But I thought that this was really, really cute. Probably to hold or even like to wear as a side bag. Probably just to hold. But I thought that this was so cute. The blue one was so cute too, y'all. I just kind of want to go back and get both of them. But let me see. I think the bag was $28. Target be taxing. I feel like they a little overrated. But they have some cute things. So I don't know, y'all. I might end up going back to get the blue one. But probably and then lastly i got these shower curtain rings because if you guys did not watch my last vlog i did move into a one bedroom apartment so my last uh, apartment had like a walk-in shower and this one only has you know the shower and the tub so 
my second bedroom that or second bathroom that was in my other apartment had the tub and the shower i just didn't know what i wanted to do with it so now that i have no choice what to decorate i kind of wanted to get some shower curtain rings that match the bathroom and they're black so i'm gonna end up putting these up probably tonight just because i did wash the shower curtain i got a new um what do you call it plastic shower curtain thingy whatever you call it i did grab that so i'm gonna put this up because my other shower curtain things are rusted real bad i got them from ross i want to say for like maybe six dollars i think these yeah these were ten dollars and it says rust resistant so we're gonna see how you know target is true to their word because i really want them. and they're black they did have a gold pair but i don't have much gold in my bathroom so i didn't want it to kind of look weird like that's the only gold thing that's in the bathroom um but i might end up putting these up yeah i feel like i just did a whole freaking haul he did some retail therapy okay like that is what relieves my stress honestly like you know how some people smoke you know drink not me i don't do either one of those i might drink some wine or something but i'm not a smoker or a drinker so me shopping is how i just relieve my stress and i can sit in the store and i will look through everything so if you're not that person we can never go shopping together because i like to look okay through everything that i'm looking for okay uh, I'm probably not going to clean this up tonight and it's stuff all over the place but um yeah so I'm going to end this vlog here this was a long and unexpected vlog because interviews ain't go right pants ain't fitting but it's okay you know i gotta get my retail therapy in i'm real happy i got some things that worked out for me yeah and i don't know if i showed i did show y'all my nails ting 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 i'm not gonna focus you. you see them don't they look so good i was like sis you need to make sure that these is real sharp so i can cut somebody okay like she was like, you want them real sharp? And I was like, yeah, real sharp. So make them sharp. I know they short, but they can still be sharp. You know, I can still cut some of And then I just did my toes white. Like, they're the same white toes. Ooh, this just scared me, this tag. That was something crawling. But they're the same white toes I've always had. Um, but yeah. I know this vlog again wasn't all oh, doing extra but the next one hopefully and i know some of you guys are like girl i love your vlogs keep them coming keep them coming i just want to make sure we still on the same page because i don't want to keep doing the vlogs and y'all don't like them okay because my vlogs we not taking trips okay not right now we ain't doing none of that yeah if you guys like vlogs make sure you guys give it a thumbs up you can also comment because i'm gonna comment back and i will see you guys in the next vlog don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already if you already got this far you might as well just subscribe you know so i hit the subscribe button because you love me and i love you too and i will see you guys in the next video